CNBC TV 18 and Hindustan Unilever Limited present Lessons in Marketing Excellence Season 14. Let's welcome our next team on the stage, Team Boost from uh, Indian School of Business. All right, your time starts now. Hi, everyone. I'm sure you've figured out by now, given our team name, that we've chosen the brand Boost for our gamification. While conducting primary research, we realized that kids today play a very big role in influencing parents in their purchasing decisions. So much so that we can safely say that kids are the TG for our product category. And this TG has a massive need for increased stamina and energy for better sporting performance. Given Boost's lifelong association with cricket and WCC's pan-India reach, these two are the perfect combination to establish in the TG's mind that Boost prepares them for success. Further, our in-game integration makes brand communication very focused and targets the right set of consumers among the app's 10.7 million monthly active users, thereby making Boost and WCC a winning gaming integration. So there are multiple touch points, though, where you can discover Boost on the WCC platform, starting with the push notifications where users are made aware of the gaming integration. But as the user opens the WCC app, the daily reward screen pops up, which includes both the normal rewards and the Boost 3x rewards. In order to win the Boost 3x rewards, though, the user needs to answer three simple questions, which are again there to reiterate Boost's key message. That is gender, age, and status don't matter. It's all about stamina. So why the game and these three touch points, we aim to drive three customer actions. One, associate Boost with stamina. Two, increase top of the mind awareness. And three, increase word of the mouth amongst peers. But to truly drive this message home, that stamina matlab boost, we need to push via both online and offline activation parallelly. To increase awareness and drive users to play with the Boost 11 team on WCC, we plan to run an influencer marketing campaign with some of the most popular gaming influencers in India. Our campaign will require a total budget of Rs 3.1 crores for executing the various expenses under the heads of gaming integration, social media and offline initiatives. Over a period of six months, we expect to acquire about 2,70,000 customers. And at a minimum purchase frequency of at least one bottle in the six months, this customer base will give us a gross profit equal to the total budget required to execute this plan. So our campaign will comfortably break even in the first half itself. Additionally, at 50% retention rate over the next six months, it will generate enough margins on an annual basis to fund similar campaigns in future periods. Hence, this is a self-sustaining project that can create a virtuous cycle of improvements in boost top-of-mind recall and enable it to own the stamina attribute, thus truly establishing in the minds of TG that stamina matlab boost. I just had a question around purpose, you know, because this particular round is all about purpose. So I somehow missed the purpose integration uh, because I saw that partnership with public schools or something was coming. So what is the purpose uh, that you've defined and how has that been integrated in the, in the game? So the purpose of Boost is uh, 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 to make uh, uh, children believe that with stamina, uh, that all that matters in this game is stamina. It's not about where you come from. It's not about your gender. It's not about your status. It's all about stamina. Hence, our initiative of going to all these public schools is also to give these underdogs a chance saying that if it is all about stamina, we're ready to provide you with the back end and go ahead and perform. Okay. Thank you. So Thank you. A big round of applause for the third team. Let me now welcome our next team for the evening, a very interesting name, Team Dracula from Indian Institute of Management Studies, Ahmedabad. And your time starts now. Okay. Good evening. As first-time hostlers away from home, we truly dread our weekly laundry. It is a cumbersome process of calling our mothers and asking what products to use and how much to use each time. Hence, the three of us immediately resonate with the brand SurfXL. A leading innovator in detergents, this brand is a common household name. However, its newest product, the Smart Shots, are far from known in the market. The ideal target market for Smart Shots would be two categories. First, the 20 to 30 year old upper middle class bachelors from tier one and tier two urban cities, earning over, let's say, rupees five lakh annually. And second would be 30 to 40 year old family individuals belonging to the urban upper or middle income strata and mostly with both the adults working. The key pain points across our target audiences are time, high complexity, and stain removal. After gaining this kind of understanding of our consumers, we charted out our objectives. The key job to be done for us is number one, to increase the awareness of smart shots, and number two, to reduce the gap between the awareness and the trial stage. We would integrate smart shots into three different games, both casual and serious. 
the key objective here is subliminal awareness of the smart shots logo and benefits while ensuring gaming experience integrity in jungle marble blast there would be a dual integration where one is in the gaming application and another one is on the smart shots box with the help of augmented reality this is how the box would look like in the game smart shots will be provided at rare intervals the shots would lead to a blast with a washing animation with the text and a voice thing that's a smart shot now in angry grand run uh, the game would include players getting their clothes dirty and then running from their seemingly angry gran invoking a sense of nostalgia after each game our main integration would come in here the child is sad about getting his clothes angry uh, however the gran is still affectionate and in a blink the clothes would get cleaned this reinforces surf excel's message dag acche hain to the consumers now we'll also be looking at the additional marketing measures cost which have a total estimated spending of 6.8 crores and we plan to invest 60 lakh in social media marketing and the impact of this could be extrapolated using the cost per 1000 impressions the advertisements in the high end retail stores will cost around 3 crores and the sampling plan will cost around 3.12 crores which have been calculated using the number of detergent packaging sold in tier 1 and tier 2 cities and the cost of a smart shot and the final element of our uh cost structure is the hr cost which is estimated at 38 lakhs we are open for questions yeah. okay let me give it a shot thank you team for your for your presentation i really like the way you started so my question is were the integrations specific enough to drive the format of smart shots firstly in all our integrations uh, especially in jungle marble blast and call of duty a shot is shot at the target area so a shot is really imbibed in, embedded into the consumer's mind so that is where a smart shot comes in also it's just a single shot that is doing all kinds of cleaning for the end consumers that is where i we believe that smart shots are really separated from detergents or liquid detergents let's welcome team divergent from indian school of business Good evening everyone. Today we are pitching for Lifeboy as a brand for the gaming integration in rural India targeted towards 25 to 34 years age group who are the key decision makers and generally parents or on the verge of parenthood. Hand washing with soap is triggered by visible dirt in rural India. No dirt means no hand wash. And secondly, hand wash is a forgetful act and not considered critical. Thus we believe Lifeboy can create a difference in bridging this awareness gap. because of its functional and emotional benefits targeted at providing healthy and hygienic life but how do we achieve this key job to be done constantly remind consumers that hand washing is essential to be protected from unseen germs through this idea we want to empower 13 crore people and bring about that positive change talking beyond infection prevention good health can lead 60 more school days per child leading to a better future our touch points in the game look like the user shakes hands with other players and the message pops up not all dot are visible wash your hands to kill invisible germs the safety stoppage points in ludo king will be replaced with live boy logo to give a certain message to the user with live boy you are protected Every user gets two Live Boy Protect card in the beginning of the game that the user can use to protect itself from being pawned by the opponent. Once the user reaches to the home base, the user gets a message that now you have reached home, don't forget to wash your hands. Once the game ends, the user gets to share victory card with every converted referral the user earns Live Boy Protect card. When it comes to the advertising budget, we propose a total of 15 CR to successfully launch the campaign. More than 50% of the budget will be spent on our integration with Ludo King. As and when the campaign progresses, we will see genuine change in behavior with respect to hand washing. Through the campaign, we can aim to add an incremental turnover of 101 CR after one year and 368 CR in the next five years. Thank you very much for the great presentation. <clears throat> Why have you chosen rural India as 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 an audience, uh, and 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 what is uh, you know uh, hand washing as a concept? Yes, is is. Uh, Uh, is is equally important everywhere, and uh, so just just your perspective on that. 
we thought that COVID-19 would have brought a very big change, but eventually we realized that people are regressing back to the old habits of washing hands just two to three times a day. And that's when we realized that this is a message that needs to be enforced constantly so that people become aware. And right now, if we, to, if we talk about live boy, specifically in rural India, I mean, that is the brand which people know that has awareness, but that top of mind awareness still needs to be generated and that needs that constant recall. And that's where we all were aligned that we should choose Lifebuoy and targeted at of one particular segment and specifically that 24 to 35 years age group, like I already said, those are decision makers. Those can drive change. Those are the parents who can actually make their children develop those lifelong habits. CNBC TV 18 at Hindustan Unilever Limited presents.